I get asked quite frequently when I go um, and visit schools and students of all ages is what kind of money uh, do the farmers make and like what's their salary and is it a good career? Um, and so the only answer that I can really give them and to you is it totally depends. It depends on what field of egg you're going into because we all know there's processing, there's genetics, there's technology, there's actual on farm. And so depending on your employer, um, it's all over the board as far as salary and pay range. So, but as a farmer, um, the things that we try to control are our costs. So we want to have a good return on investment. So what that means is what we're going to put in, we want to make sure um, we get back out when we sell. And so we fig figure things usually on a cost per acre. Um, we include our fuel, our seed, our chemical, our fertilizer. All that goes into the cost to get the crop into the ground. We also have to be mindful of our crop rotations. And so we want to make sure that we shift like our wheat and our barley and then do our soybeans and that way we're like putting nitrogen back in the ground for our grass crops and the grass crops are going to pull it from the crops like the soybeans that put it back in the ground so then we don't have to use as much fertilizer but we have to pay attention to our fertilizer costs our seed costs and our chemical costs but then the other part of it is selling the crop so marketing is a huge huge part of it as well we want to make sure that we are following them and we can lock in um, as many bushels as we can when we get our prices high and then we also have to keep track of our basis and so up here in North Dakota we have a negative basis and that's because we are so far away from the ports from major rivers and the transport to get our product where we need to go um, so the elevators you have to call and check your basis as well as um, the, the commodity price now those who live closer to like the Mississippi River those who live on the coasts their basis is usually a plus so that's good for them but so we always just have to keep in mind um, our costs that we're putting into the ground and then what we're going to um, get out and make sure we market it um, as best that we can. So it's not just a matter of putting a crop in and getting it out. We have to be very, very consistent and very concise on our costs per acre so that in the bad years, we can use the good years to cover those. We just do the best we can. So again, my best answer is it totally depends on how good you are at managing your time, managing your money and your resources.